restaurant located at 9401 West Lake Hefner Parkway, went inside and started shooting people. Now we know at this point, two people have been shot. Both those people have been transported to the hospital and uh, are undergoing surgery at this time. One other person was injured by running away from the scene and he fell and broke his arm. The only person that we know is deceased at right now is gonna be the suspect. When the suspect exited the establishment, he was confronted by a citizen. The citizen had a weapon, took out his weapon and shot the suspect. The suspect is dead. There's no other um, fear for him to be running around doing this anymore today, okay? Uh, also, for our family members that may have had a loved one at the uh, at this establishment at Louis, everybody needs to meet at the lighthouse at 3333 West Hefner Road. You were? Yeah. Her, her two sons, okay. ex-husband and his wife. Okay. We were at the, uh, at the pool and uh, they called us. He called us. He called her. That this is probably a good guy. I was I wanted to find where the shooter was, and we I picked him up in the trees. He was walking up a sidewalk, and so pointed that out to uh, the guy who had come back. And there was another person there by that time too. But I really didn't take take great notice of him because I was focused on this guy. And he was approached, and he was asked. He was begged. They're like, please put it down. Please put it down. Please put it down. Please put it down. And as he's looking back and forth between them kind of stopped on me for a second and I was just like just put it down just put it down just put it down and then he moved and shots were fired and I got down and by the time I got back up he was on the ground so did you see him actually getting shot uh, no I didn't know I was just I don't know I mean just you know, all I remember is the ear protection and the eye protection I mean those ear are the things that stand out protection. yeah just like if you went to a range it was that kind of thing he had a gun in his hand and he had, yeah he had a gun in his hand at that, at that moment and they're yelling put it down they're, they're yelling put it down and and pointing and you know just he could i know he couldn't hear because he had ear protection on but he looked in my direction i was just pointing just put it down put it down put it down and uh i was i was a row of cars away and he must have made a move because shots began being fired i got down behind the car and i don't know exactly how many shots were fired uh but there were a few and when I got up, uh, he was down on the ground and they were there and a police car was coming in at that time. So I made my way over there very quickly because I wanted the police officer to know that these three guys are good guys. These are good guys. These are good guys. These are bad guys. And um, so there was a lot of chaos. The police officer showing up I had no idea who was who. They, they went to the ground and the officer, you know, he handled the situation, handled the, the, the situation incredibly well. And then I mean, the response time for the rest of the police department, they were there. I mean, they were there almost instantaneously. Um, and from that point on, they just began questioning people. And uh, we went downtown and uh, kind of told them the same thing I'm telling you right now. Well, did you see anybody shot then inside Louis? You, you didn't I didn't. I, 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 the only person who I actually saw myself uh, who was injured was somebody who they had, they had taken out on a, uh, on a stretcher and she was alert and awake and she was in some distress and probably some shock as well. But uh, I mean, I, I don't know exactly who was shot, how they were what shot. What about the, the gunman when he went down? I mean, he was, sure he was yeah, he, uh, you, know what? you know what? You know, I, I don't know exactly, you know, when he expired, but we were just there talking to the police officer and trying to tell other police officers as they arrived. They're like, these are good guys, these are good guys. So they cuffed him and said, just sit still. We need to figure out what's going on here. Um, and, and that was about it. We went downtown and we, you know. Do you know it at all?